Good evening, Tiz. How are you today? I'm doing all right. Tom, thanks for subscribing for two months. Thank you, Tiz, for subscribing for two months. I appreciate it for both of you. You guys are awesome. Do you know what that means? That means I've been affiliate for two months. That's bananas. That is absolutely bananas. <laughs> also, I'm slightly confused because I should have an alert for... I should have an alert for resubs as well. Hmm. Don't know. I'll have to mess around with that later, see what's going on. if it'll queue it up now. And if I put up the other one, I'll have to turn off my music. I'll do that in three minutes, but... But thank you guys, that's awesome. Okay, so... I gotta say... I need to confess. I cheated a little, because I was curious. So what I did was I pulled up the game and I didn't leave the planet, but I got my hands on one of those signal phones, the thing that detects uh, music, and I've located the object that Feldspar is on, because I definitively figured out which item he was on. Purely by accident. I was just trying to s figure out exactly how it worked. But I have confirmed he is not on Giant's Deep. There's some weird orbital thing that'll show up that looks kind of like an international space station. And that's what he actually is on. Or they, they are on. So I was really tempted to immediately jump into the spaceship and blast off and see if I could meet him, but I held off for you guys because I know you would want to see that. But I did record that bit, so let me, let me see if I can pull that up and uh, get that into a place where you can see it. Let's see. I'm gonna drop it into the, um, we'll be right back area. Uh, I think it's this one. Hold on. Let me let me check something real fast. I'm trying to see if I can figure out immediately how big the item is. one. 
hold on, let me... Let me resize that real fast for you. Does that sound like it? I'm pretty sure that's... Pretty sure that's him. Oh, shoot. Um. Should be playing now. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's Feldspar. So I'm gonna go ahead. Are we streaming you streaming? Uh, no, so basically I just took a short snippet and um, what the fuck? I... What I did was I uh, recorded that short snippet um, a, about 20 minutes ago or so, and I was just kind of messing around in game, trying to see if I could f um, figure out the signal signal phone or whatever it's called, and uh, that's what I found. So I'm just. Resetting up a couple of things real fast, and um, then we'll be good to go. Oops. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's still not what I wanted to do, but you know what? I'll fix that later. Okay. I got this good to go. And... There we go. Haha. -ha. Alright. So. We've got Outer Wilds up. And let us resume our expedition. <laughs> All right. <laughs> X to wake up. Be sure to let me know if it goes all wibble, wibble wobbly again for me. Let's, let's full screen this because uh, it's easier for me to see. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. Do I have the signal phone? Okay, I do. So, I want to go check that out immediately. Somewhere near there. Or it showed up in this area. Someone's whistling on there. See, that's the Aldspar, I think. I don't remember exactly what that is. Uh, let's see. C. 
suit up. Contact, blast off. Uh, let's see. That's the over here somewhere. Okay, so it's that. It's there. It's that thing. Know what I'm want? Uh, what I'm only really locked onto? There we go. Okay, so he's on Dark Bramble. I think we're landed? Maybe? Okay, it looks like we're stopped. Uh, cockpit view. Uh, okay. Okay, not gonna lie, I thought I just, uh, launched myself into space! <laughs> um, anything else need? I think that's good. So... Okay, so he's this way somewhere.
crap, how do I... So he's in there somehow. Okay, well, we're headed there. This is super trippy. I don't know how to go faster. What the? Ah! Um. <laughs> what the fuck? Games, give, give me a second. Game windows being fucky again. Uh, one second. <laughs> that was, that was fucked. What the fuck? <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, that happened. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> I was not expecting that. All of a sudden, tentacles. <laughs> oh man, I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay. Well, we know that he's alive. That's okay. Thanks for letting me know, though.
that's a fact. Are we landed? Okay, I'm assuming we are landed. <sighs> oh. God damn it. <sighs> There's not really a good way to fix it. Nothing needs fixing on this side. The reason I'm repairing it is because I was going to try and navigate the ship in. <sighs> Maybe I sh I'm using a scout to see what's down there first. What the fuck? So that's what we got eaten by. kind of looked like it was coming towards me. Okay, so it landed. 
So I definitely don't want to go down in there by myself. I'm going to have to go in via the... Yeah, I'm going to have to go in with the capsule. Okay. Matched velocity. So this is really creepy. really freaking me out. There's that thing. And now it's trying... And it ate us. Okay. So it eats us if we're, even if we're in the ship. Apparently. I feel like that's a trap. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna see if uh, what's his face has anything to say about it. Uh, okay, now so. Fish is a. He's a something, all right. Uh, let's view map. Oops. I want to go to the. Okay, so. I guess that makes sense why they haven't found him. Is uh, people keep on eating or being eaten. There's something called the interloper though, that's kind of cool. Wait a second, I think he might have been on the interloper, now that I think about it. Because it didn't look like Dark Bramble. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at the footage again. Um, let's see, what do I want to go look at? Uh, zoom. I want to go look at the Addle Rock because someone is there, I think. Yes.
Alright, not bad. Okay. Unidentified signal nearby. Hello. Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Grand Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back in the day when our uh, ships were less f sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Now it's mostly to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know Ryback feels how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. I mean, uh, is there anything else you wanted to ask? Uh, seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfells and Gosan mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground f control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about us? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as much as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get to that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. Don't go, I mean... Okay, so he keeps saying that. Is that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best place for that is on the North Pole. Great reception. It's marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon. Just go north, you can't miss it. Uh, what is this place? Haha, ha, very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, the uh, travelers used to bring their spaceships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raise, uh, raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Alright. So, that seems like most of that. So, let's go check out the uh, house he's got here. Can we? No, we can't. I guess we don't really need the suit if he's out here without one. Oh well. Uh, let's equip our signal scope. that, let's see, who is that? Uh, that's Gabro's flute. Uh, let's, what's our flashlight again? There we go. you guys, but I thought for sure that Brittle Hollow was where, um, oh my god, he said the t North Pole was where I needed to go, wasn't it? So let's go to the North Pole. This must be it. Okay, 
so we're getting a lot of things here. So that's Banjo. So let's see, who was Banjo? That's Ryback. Ryback's supposed to be on Brittle Hollow. Okay, so it's out there. Which... I am very confused. That would imply... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds exactly like it is on... Um... Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that's definitely it. There's no mistaking it. That is so weird. Uh, I don't... Okay, so that's telling me... So I also figured out... Um, I also figured out that uh, the sun actually indicates whether or not we are getting close to um, explosion. So you see how it's all weird and kind of, um, I'm gonna put that away. Uh, uh. Okay. So you see how it's kind of, um, oh, how would you explain that? Orangey, I guess. I noticed that the um, the tint goes down into like a single bright light. So, um, and then once that light hits like a pinprick, it ex supernovas. So that's a kind of it's kind of cool to check out the um, our home planet. Because we didn't really explore it, I guess. Because all we really were in was um, the crater, I guess, is what they called it. Which would be that area right there with the smoke plume. Oh shit. We got three minutes of oxygen. Ah. Face walking, I tell ya. Anyways, uh, where'd the sun go? Oh, what the fuck is that? The interloper? That's cool. Uh, I'm, okay, so I'm not getting any signal from that thing. This is kind of cool, just sitting on the moon and chilling out. I mean, it's making me hella dizzy, but, you know. Uh, the interloper seems to look like a comet. I don't know that uh, we got any info on that when we were at the... Um, uh, well, where was it? The observatory? But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna check 
one more thing. I don't think there's... I think there was actually... So this was... This was his smoke signal. I thought there was another. I'm gonna go refill oxygen real fast. I thought there was like a crashed thing somewhere here. Yeah, like that. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Okay, so nothing there. That's the Twin Isles, if I remember correctly. Oh, this is a thing. So I'm back to here. That's that. Whee! We're just kind of fucking around on the moon right now, because why not? Also, I want a front row seat to see this explosion. I don't know about you. <laughs> That's interesting. Is there another building or something there? We might have to actually uh, check out our own planet at some point because uh, there's areas there that I haven't even seen before. Oh shit, I think it's about to happen. Okay. So, um, you notice how the outer edges are starting to get kind of dull and all the light is going towards the middle? Once that constricts to a very, very fine point, it's going to explode. Okay, maybe not. Um, maybe I was getting a little too excited there for a second. It might not be the, might not be just yet, but it's getting there. Yeah, that light lighting did happen because of the planet going in front of it. I think we seem to be doing all right on. Uh, um, oxygen so far, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's the drums that's chaired. I want to revisit that planet next round 
because um, that whole thing that it's doing where it's like swapping sand it's kind of cool okay I think it might actually be happening now because it looks like it's getting smaller is that just me Oh yeah, it's it's definitely getting smaller. Oh. It's getting shrinky dinky. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to be this close to it. <laughs> I don't know. Should we just wait here and continue watching or continue exploring the moon? There's the interloper again. We might have to check out what the, um, the, what the interloper is next round and um, also that what is it the uh, twin the hourglass twins because we did actually find uh, no my writing on on that planet so Hold on, I'm hearing something. Is that just music? It is just music. This is around the time, I think, because uh, I've heard the music before when I was starting to do stuff. Uh, let's see, where's the ship at? It's that way. Oxygen. It might be. That actually could be a good point. And also, I seem to recall that when the supernova happened, the Hourglass Twins was completely um, switched over from one side to the other. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is so cool. The Hourglass Twins is the uh, pair of, um, there's a pair of planets, it was the same planet we were on last time, uh, last session. Absolutely. Okay. It feels like we have more time because I immediately leave each time instead of fucking around here. 
Uh, so where should we go? Should we go to the Hourglass Twins this time? Yeah. Well, I have to exit now because uh, I damaged my ship. Oops. need repairing. Uh, cockpit. Uh, let's see, where was this thing? This is interesting. Oh, that's weird. That's a thing. This was in our backyard the ento entire damn time. Is there any Nomai stuff on here? Doesn't seem to be. Oh wait, there's this thing over here. Uh, this is interesting. Well, hello. Uh. Hmm. What could possibly be behind this waterfall, I wonder? Oh ho! Ah, uh, this is a whole thing. Okay. Meanwhile, it's thundering and lightning outside. Very, very frightening. I'll stop that. Uh, mining site 2B. Where's 9S? Oh, that's cool. This is super neat. Uh oh. Basically, what we're doing. Yeah, they mined deep. Ah! Shit. 
shit. Uh, I guess I'm down here now. Oops. Is that a tunnel back upstairs? Everything is super dark down here. It's kinda scary. I guess. Are we underwater? I think we're underwater. Yeah. Oh, interesting. raining super hard outside. That's bananas. Multiple dead guys! Oh, hello. Yeah. Every time. Every time! Still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twins projects requires. Isn't this ore for the remaining towers built being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. Uh, no, the materials for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The one we're, ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Uh, so we keep on hearing about this place called Ash Twin. Not really sure where that is. Um, at least it's not labeled as such from what we have now. Um, if they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've, uh, planned accordingly. Oh, accordingly. Accordingly. Uh, I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, go sell Coleus. How else would he improve? I love that the gnome I have puns. Um, I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we wouldn't won't have destroyed their ability to create. Interesting. Okay. That's actually kind of sweet of them. Okay, uh, let's see. So this goes off this way. Um, more things. That's some kind of table. Ash twin projection stone. Is that Ash Twin, do you think? Whoa. Uh, okay, so we've got more writing. God damn it. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Onio. This core should be, or should be the last we need for the Ash Twin project. Uh, once we finish the shell, uh, we'll make sure there are no longer any physical entrances. We'll check the interior and the exterior for cracks. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to z disaster. Okay. Um, so I guess 
this is something I don't have yet. Interesting. How do I get to those platforms down there? Yeah, we don't have it yet. I'm glad that I decided to check out this area. Steep. Ah, I missed. Crap. God damn it. Yeah, the jetpack doesn't like to do long bursts, apparently. So I have no sense of time. Uh, it's the triggers, right? Uh, yeah. Um, it it's right trigger. So let's let's actually try this. Do a controlled test. Um, okay, so that's as long as I can um, go for. I just squeezed and uh, held. Okay, so left trigger makes me go down. Well, light, light squeeze does this. I wish I could run and jump. something interesting. I made it. I don't know where I made it to. One of the platforms. Whee! Space! Hi, we vote for hobbits. How are you doing? So that's up to the entrance again. I think we made it all the way up. Yeah, because that was that area over there. Hmm. 
20 minute time loop. Small, small price to pay to escape capitalism. Eh, you're not wrong. So, the Twin Ash Project. That seems to be... Okay, so it looks like we're almost to time. So that's probably how I get up out. Unless I just pull that up. That would be the fast way. What's down there if there's anything? Because that's definitely off the beaten pathway. Um, nah. out of the ash twin project is something that we don't exactly know what it is uh that's actually why i'm headed back to the ship because we have something we we have ship's log okay so let's see uh return suit nope return suit there we go uh, let's see. I guess I don't need to use the bed. There we go. Okay, so where was my ship's log? It was here. Yes, it does. Oh, man. We got a ton of stuff. Okay. Uh, well. So, that was... That was last time. One of three No My Escape Pods crashed in our system. They were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. Uh, the uh, Nomai survivors that crashed on Ember Twin decided to she seek shelters in the caves. They found a promising long-term shelter at the end of one of the passages, which we didn't find. Uh, they crafted warp cores at the Black Hole Forge before delivering them to Ash Twin. Several large Nomai towers form a ring around Ash Twin's equator. Uh, yeah, we'll take a break after reading all of these. The White Hole Station was created as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin project. There's more to explore there, so we'll go back there. Uh, towers on Ash Twin were modeled after the White Hole Station. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Uh, they mined from the site to craft a protective shell to seal off that central chamber. They made sure there was no longer any physical entrances or cracks. One and only Harthian village, uh, main source of explosions on this planet. Um, let's see. Calibrating.
getting some kind of device on Idle Rock. Oscar is growing a crop of trees on the camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for far too long. Okay. What's this? Put the Orbal's probe cannon on indefinite hiatus. Cannon was asked not to fire. Uh, long range probe was recently launched from the uh, orbital probe. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just check on the uh, status. Ah. I was gonna check on the status of the sun, thank you. I can't exactly uh, run because the uh, I left, took off my spacesuit. No, the song hasn't started yet. You know, I probably should have left my spacesuit on so that I know where the ship is. Whoops. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. I'm a big dumb. It's fine. Okay, well, gonna put us back into our ship. Watch the sunrise. Okay. Let's just stand by. And then we'll be right back. Need to resize this. There we go. I am going to go grab a drink.
did you miss me? <laughs> How you doing, we vote for hobbits? It's good to see you here. We should do more exploring on our planet and see what else is going on, or should we go to the sandy planet? Because we got a couple of options there. might be a couple of different things on our planet. Um, we only explored that one area, so we can go ahead and try it out. You can't decision, cat. I'm gonna boop off the music now. get it back on over to um, our area now and uh, get this taken care of. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do, do I have push-ups to do? I've got push-ups to do. I'm going to knock those out fast before I get back into the game. Uh, let's see, that is uh, 10 push-ups? Yes. Okay. Alright. Gotta get a blanket out of the way. Fucking hell, I... Okay. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. And they're done! Uh, the feed tells me that it was you, so <laughs> you're not going to be able to hide. <laughs> tells me exactly who redeems what. <laughs> eh, whatever. <sighs> okay. You thought I'd uh, forget to look? No. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Let's get back on into it. Whoops. Okay. Uh, put this back on. I think we've got a little... Uh, a little more time. Before stuff starts to get on. that. Oop. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna land here. Start the timer for dinner. There we go. Let's 
so this is a thing. I'm gonna try checking this out. There's someone down here. It's tech tight. Okay. Hey yo, hatchling. I thought you were taking that tin can of space into s that of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me, I saw something crash over the horizon, and I didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come here myself and take a look. So, what crash? Not sure exactly. Uh, it looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not like anything I've seen on Tipper Hearth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? Looks like it might be something that came off of Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Let's get rid of this mess sooner than, rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want any want to set anybody to hack in a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking up there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, they opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm for, or two. Uh, music started. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can... going. It's got one of those things in it again. Huh. So does every every one of these things have a, a weird thingy? Because it definitely looks like the sun. There it goes. Sorry, random husband of appearance. He seems very unbothered, yeah. But every single uh, dark bramble seed seems to have one of those uh, angler fish in it. Which is kind of weird. Interesting, but weird. So we investigated that. Oh my. My cat 
is very decisive that she is going to, uh, you know, meow. I think I already saw that. Yeah, we saw that. seen everything there is to see on here. Maybe not. Uh, bump. I'll leave this on. I'm gonna go see what's going on here. <laughs> that that was not meant to happen. Ow. Crunch. Oops. Okay. I'm going to uh, see if I can continue all the way down. Whoa. is super cool. Am I at the core of the planet? Observation. Mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the uh, native life dwelling in some of these caves and pools. So unfortunately we'll have to mine in one of the other sites. Okay. Uh, on the other opposite hand, new life! This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust and I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be careful, cautious near pools if you visit 2A to meet them. 
so are we aquatic? I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about Site 2B? It shares similar formations and strata. Sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining Site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. 2B is safe. Colas says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on life here. So cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! my head. Oops. <gasps> Whee! Immediately runs to the capsule. <laughs> So which one did we go in? I think it was the other one. Because this one seems a bit smaller. Okay. Ow. Uh, I think this was 2B. Yeah, that's mining site 2B. Okay, so I went in the wrong one. Whoops. Wonder, wonder if I can go in those geysers again. It might cause me to die again, but you know what? Who cares? <laughs> puts me up so far it puts me into space. Another one. Oh, this is so cool. So the 
this must have been a dwelling, I guess. Okay, so there's stuff under here, it looks like. is a ledge. So let's go down into it. Puts us back into the main area, it looks like. Cool stuff. This is really neat game design. I really enjoy this. on here. Blast ourselves into outer space. Alright, where's the ship? Ship's over there. Yay, I didn't die this time. <laughs> hey, once I figure it out, I got it. to the North Pole here? I don't think we have. Let's 
go to our North Pole. What's this? Wait, are we in the North Pole? I wonder. No, that, that was the, uh, okay, so the, um, the thingamajig. That's very, uh, explanatory, sure. Uh, the thingamajig, the seed crash landed at the North Pole, it looks like. Okay, so this, that's weird. So when I shot my thing into this, it was a huge amount of space. Like near infinite. sure if it's traveling through the vines or that's interesting so there's a skeleton in there uh oh I punctured it duplicate signal it's weird here's this thing it's saying that it's 848 kilometer or er, meters away 800 and can't be right Duplicate signal? That's weird. Can't be right. Why is it giving me a duplicate signal? Okay, so that's interesting. It's saying that the scout is actually on, um, what is it, Dark Bramble? Where's my ship? I need to head to my ship to confirm that on the map. Apparently. Yeah, that's Dark Bramble. Uh, yeah, it's it's straight up saying that uh, the um, seed is a warp. I'm 
not sure how that helps. Because I don't think I can actually... I don't think I can actually go. I died again. Hey, yo, fuck off. I just tried it to use my uh, jetpack landings, okay? <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> it's, 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 it's fine. The, uh, it's just the, uh, Residents of Dark Bramble want to invade our planet. Possibly, yeah, potentially. Not that they're gonna get the chance to. Cause, you know, the sun explodes. Uh, and no, but for Hobbits, we're not doing a death count. Cause, uh, we're essentially in a time loop the entire time. So. So each loop is about 20 minutes. Yeah. So we're just constantly reliving the same 20 minutes and finding out new shit each time. I survived. I'm good. It does not start as a red giant, correct. So if I can go through there, I'm not sure if I can. That would be a way to get past the thing that eats us, maybe. Oops. Um. Who did he say that we had to talk to? Oh, I threw a scout in. if we can take um, information about this back in. Uh, I was thinking... God. Okay. Man, that's spiky.
And it really doesn't want to let me in there. Okay. There's literally no way to get in. Okay. I guess I'll go back to the ship. Where is the ship? It's over there. I tried. Mm. This way. Um, okay. Okie dokie. Let's try one last island before we gotta shut it down. Or not island. Um, one last thing before we close it up for the day. Don't accelerate into the sun, please. I'm getting better at controlling this. I feel like. I have not tried accelerating into the sun. That seems like it would be a bad idea. So this and all this sand ends up going over there. We know that for sure. I'm interested in what all this is, I guess. Uh, it's a little crispy. So he's on there or somewhere. Let's go up into the sand. Because why not? Oh boy. So 
that worked. That's a harmonica. I'm looking for I'm looking for something else. I'm looking for chert. This is I'm planning on going back. Oh, he's right there. Is that my ship? <laughs> Ghost matter detected nearby. Okay. Uh, where, where was the... Says. Crash site caves. Sunless city. Interesting. Okay, so. Uh, why? Chair. Okay, so you're somewhere in this area, maybe. Ugh. Okay. That's weird. Put this away and put that uh, photo mode. So that's a lot of ghost energy right there. So what if we go with launch mode? Launcher scout. So is it just... Uh, well, it is almost time for us to end. What do you think? Should we just go in and see if we die? I think that's what we're gonna do. Well, now we know. Yep, kills us instantly. Good to know. That was fucking fast. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Alright, well that was our session of Outer Wilds for today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and quit out of that. Rip. Yes.
So what'd you guys think? Did you have fun? Got any thoughts on what we should uh, do next time? I think I'm going to... Uh, yeah, we found so much stuff on our own planet. Um, I think I'm going to have this as something that uh, we play um, on Saturdays for a bit after um, after I finish Overden. Uh, so Nauseam said that um, Nauseam said that we should be almost done. <laughs> M3L3, thanks for following. Glad to have you here. Um, wonderful, wonderful to see you here. Welcome to the club. But, uh, so... Yeah, Nauseam said that we are almost done with Overden, so that should be done as of the Saturday. And, um... I think the week after that, or the next week, um, we're going to be doing a multiplayer stream, which would be Among Us with Proximity Chat. Hey, lurkers are allowed as well. More than happy to have you here. Um, but yeah, so next week I'm planning on going back to uh, Dreamfall Chapters. Uh, we'll do Overden on Saturday, then do uh, Dreamfall Chapters Tuesday and Thursday, and then uh, maybe a multiplayer stream. I hope you have a good night's nice sleep. Sleep well. But yeah, so I'm really excited to be doing a uh, multiplayer stream again soon because I kind of miss doing it. And um, I really want to try out the, uh, the, the proximity mod because I've seen some really hilarious stuff go on it with it with some of my favorite YouTubers. Um, and I want to see what my friends can get up to. I think there's going to be a ton of hijinks. Oh, excuse me going on. Um, yeah, I think that's just about it for me. I hope you all had a great time. I will post on my schedule when I plan on playing Outer Wilds again. But I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. And uh, hope you have a great night. See you on Saturday at 10 a.m. for uh, Turn of the Overden. Night Tis, Night Hobbits. <laughs>